Hello friends, here is yet another video on areas of the segment. If you can recollect, we had seen the derivation of general formula to find the area of the segment and also solved a few different problems based on the same. In today's session, let's solve a few different types of sums. The general formula of area of a segment comes with the condition that the value of theta should be less than or equal to 90 degrees. Now what if the value of theta is greater than 90 degrees? Let's take a similar scenario and see how to go about it. In the given figure, LM is a chord of a circle with center P. If the length of PL is equal to 4 cm and the distance of chord LM from the center P is 2 cm, find the area of the shaded region. The value of pi and root 3 has been given to us. Before we proceed to the actual solution, let's figure out the way of finding the area of the segment. Since we are not sure about the angle, we cannot directly use the formula. Then what can be done? You might say, let's find the area of the sector and minus the area of triangle from it. Yes, that can be done. To find the area of sector, we would need the value of theta. And to find the area of triangle, here we know the height which is the distance of the chord from the center that is length Px. If we find the value of chord Lm, we know the base. So our first task is to find the length of chord Lm and the value of angle LPM, that is theta. If we carefully observe the figure, we get a small right-angled triangle PXL, of which we know the hypotenuse, that is length PL, actually the radius of the circle and length Px. So we can find the measure of Lx by using what? Yes, the Pythagoras theorem. Let's find that out. We can write Lx square plus Px square is equal to Pl square. Now let's substitute the values here. So on solving we get Lx as 2 root 3 centimeters. Now can we find the length Lm? Yes, it will be Lm is equal to Lx plus Xm. Since Px is a perpendicular bisector, it would be twice the measure of Lx. So we will add 2 root 3 twice. Now we know the length of chord Lm which is also the base of the triangle. Now let's figure out how to find the value of theta, that is measure of angle LPM. Again, I want you to focus on the right angled triangle PXL. Angle X is equal to 90 degrees and we know the measures of all the sides. If we name the angle XPL as small letter A, can we write sin A is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse? Yes, the sin A can be written as XL upon PL and now on substituting the right values we get sin A as root 3 upon 2. What value of sin gives us root 3 upon 2? Yes, sin 60 degrees. So angle A which is angle XPL would be 60 degrees. So now can we find the value of theta? Yes, it will be measure of angle XPL plus angle XPM which is 120 degrees. So we got the value of theta as 120 degrees. We are now at the last stage. We just need to find the area of sector and the triangle. So let's first find the area of sector with the right formula, substitute the right values. So on solving we get it as 16.75 square centimeters. And area of triangle can be written as half base into height, put the right values, substitute the value of root 3, 
Now the final answer is 6.92 square centimeters. Now we have to subtract the area of triangle from that of the sector to find the area of shaded region which is the minor segment. Let's do that. So here we get it as 9.83 square centimeters. The final answer can be written as area of the shaded region is equal to 9.83 square centimeters. Friends, this might look a little lengthy and difficult problem, but you have to relate all the properties and concepts to find the missing value. So read the question carefully, check what the given information is. What relation can be established or can we correlate the given information and eventually solve it? All okay? Now let's take a different problem. In the given figure, a square is inscribed in a circle with center O, whose radius is 2 cm. Find the area of shaded region. Oh, here there are four shaded regions. We only have the information about the radius. Will you be drawing the radius here to get a sector and follow the same procedure? That is find the area of sector and then subtract the area of triangle from it? That can be done but would be a little lengthy process. So is there an alternative way? Since it is clearly mentioned in the question that a square is inscribed in a circle, if we subtract the area of square from that of the circle, we will get the area of all the four shaded regions, isn't it? The diameter of the circle will be the same as the diagonal of the square, which is twice the radius, that is 4 cm. And the area of the square can be written as half the square of diagonals. So half into 4 square which will give us 8 cm square. So we got the area of square. Now finding the area of circle is very easy. Area of circle is equal to pi r square. Put the right values of pi and radius that is 2 cm. That will give us 12.56 cm square. Now the area of shaded region can be written as area of circle minus the area of square. 12.56 minus 8 would give us 4.56 cm square. So we got the final answer as the area of shaded region is 4.56 square centimeters. Now in the same question, if we did not know the formula for finding the area of a square, then how can we proceed? Here we know the angle is 90 degree. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we could have found one side of the square. That is side square plus side square would give me diagonal square. If we take the side as small letter a, then we can write it as 2a square is equal to 2 radius the whole square. We get a square as 2 radius square. Put the value of r. So we get one of the side as 2 root 2 centimeters. Now by using the formula of area of a square that is side square, we can find the area. That will give us 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 that is 8 centimeter square. Isn't it the same value that we got earlier? Now the remaining procedure would be the same. In this problem, we saw two different approaches to solve the same question. The hint is always there in the question. So read it very carefully and correctly. So are you now confident to solve one on your own? Here is one problem for you to solve. Hope you liked our session. For more such interesting sessions on mathematics, please stay tuned with us. Before you leave, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and never miss an update from Let. Thank you for watching.